hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make the chuck flash so if you don't know what the chuck flash is then you're either new or you don't watch my older videos um, so the chuck flash is basically uh, it's about a guy called chuck so he's got a computer in his head which allows him to access secrets and government secrets uh, and allow him to you know gain knowledge or gain skills such as like if he wants to play the guitar or the computer helps him and it gives him like it's like a superpower basically but it's not a superpower it's uh, it gives him the ability to play the guitar like a pro so basically a few days ago or no it was yesterday i made a rubik's cube flash so uh, this is how it looks there is no sound in this right now So that is the Rubik's Cube Flash. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Flash, the Rubik's Cube one. And I'm going to be breaking this video down in parts. So the first part, I'm going to be having just the Flash. Second part, I'm going to be having the Rubik's Cubes flying by. And in the third part, I'm going to show you how to add the sound. So right now, all you need to, uh, for this thing is Photoshop and After Effects. So if you don't have that, pause this video, go download it. Or you can just wait till the whole thing finishes and then just watch it again, you know increasing my views <laughs> okay so the first thing you want to do is open up photoshop now on the left side here in this column there is a tool which is called the slice tool if you can't find it you just uh, right click and look for it here it is slice tool and once you're there just go in the center it doesn't matter actually just go in the area where you're working double tap or right click and write divide slice so the area where you're going to be working in has to be 1920 by 1080. So while you're making a new uh, file, just make sure it says 1920 by 1080. Okay, so divide the slice. You want to just first quickly check mark these boxes and each of them have to be 10, like divided 10 into 10. If this types, there we go. So 10 into 10. Now what you want to do is you can choose maybe like just one photo you can choose like 10 different photos um, and you just want to add them in these 10 slots so and a quick way to do this is you add a few images and then if you're on a Mac you hold down command J or if you're on a Windows just hold down control J and that actually duplicates um, the photo so I'm going to quickly just show you so I took a screenshot here by mistake so I'll just show you that so let's say I want to add this photo, okay? Okay, so now you just kind of bring it down to size and just place it. Okay, let's just place it right here actually. So once you place the photo like that, you just click enter. So that sets the photo. And now you can just press the move tool. You don't need the slice tool anymore. The move tool is the one right on top. So once you've got that, like I said, control J or command J. So you just click that once and that makes a copy so now you can just drag the same photo up and you just keep doing repeating the process if like I said you can use just one photo you can use multiple photos but um, I've already done that okay so this is how uh, it should look in the end you should have 10 by 10 different photos and yeah that is my friends that's me getting the award uh, spider-man award my logo Ben 10 with Rishabh Chuck and you got other photos as well so that is that okay so now once you've got the photo just save it you can save it as a, a photoshop uh, file if you want i've saved it as a jpg so yeah so once you've done that you can just shut down photoshop you don't need that anymore oh, i'm using a trial by the way yes i am not willing to buy it okay so you open up after effects and now what you want to do is just drag the image in or you can just import it from here you just go to file and import and then you press file and it opens up you can do it that way too but um, I've already dragged it in now what you want to do is just take your file that's over here and just drag it to the area where you're going to be working in so there it is so the first thing you want to do is you want to make it uh, look like a grid because right now it's not a grid it's just photos so go to effect generate grid and now that puts a black grid don't we don't get worried our photos are still here so where here it says blending mode you want to go hit normal and see this color so click that and you just want to make the color black so now as you can see we have got black borders i'm going to kind of zoom in you can see we've got black borders that's okay if it's pixelated it, it doesn't really matter okay so we've got that now we want to make uh, it look in such a way that it's flying by because that's what happens in chuck's flash 
so after this you want to go to effect stylize and motion tile so now we've got this whole new settings okay so now over here as you can see the tile center all we need to do in this clip is just worry about this so right now we're gonna do this let's change this to one second long we're gonna make this composition one second long so to do that go into composition composition settings and over here right now it says it's for five seconds we're gonna just make that one second long hit okay so now we have a one second long clip okay so what you want to do now is uh, go right to zero like the starting hit this little stopwatch looking thing that creates a keyframe let it be at 540 and just go to the end now to do this you can like pull up a calculator if i can get it okay there we go and we want to just get a multiple of 540 so i've got 540 so i'm just going to add 540 to itself and here i'm going to be using 1620 as the value you can do the same thing if you've got 540 as well so i go all the way to the end i think i am at the end okay and we're going to just write 1620 now you didn't see anything change because it is the same value it's a multiple of 540 so it doesn't change but when you actually play it back you will actually see the images are flying by which is what we want okay so now what you want to do is um just go into your projects see now we've re got grid okay grid 2 is a mistake i kind of recorded it before now what you want to do is take grid and make a new composition so here it is and you just want to change this so go into composition settings right now it's one second long all you want to do is make it three seconds long and there we go okay so now what we want to do is we want to make a loop so we want the whole thing to play back for the duration of three seconds so all you have to do right click on the clip go to time and write enable time remapping so these bring up some keyframes as such now over here on the stopwatch here all you want to do is hold down alt and click and this pulls up a little expression tab and all you want to do is write the following loop out type equals to cycle and there we go so that's the expression you can pause this video right now and just copy it down if you're done that's it so that's how it that's the whole expression now all you want to do is you want to make a keyframe one before this so that we can extend the whole clip and that makes it that makes it a loop so just go to your last keyframe now holding down command and using the arrow keys you can actually shift between keyframes like such so i'm going to go all the way to the end so this is our last so we want to go one keyframe back and then you want to add a new keyframe by clicking this little button here that adds a new keyframe and then you can just go ahead and delete this one and now if you were to extend this clip zoom out extend this clip like such and you have a loop so i'm going to play back and that is your loop so now what you want to do you want to take your grid and make a new one so now we have this and now we want to make it look like a cylinder so to do that go to effect perspective cc cylinder now we've made it into a cylinder but it's kind of off that's not how chuck's flash actually looks like so all you want to do is go into the rotation and the x factor you want to just change it into negative 90. so now at least we're looking through it but if you play it back it still doesn't look quite right so now all you want to do is go into your positions see the z-axis you want to kind of just pull it behind a bit i would say somewhere around 15 15,000 something um, okay that's pretty good now what you want to do is you want to kind of alter this so it looks like the shape of an eye uh, not the shape sorry the size of an eye so into your radius radius options you want to just go back a bit i would say that looks pretty good so now if you were to play it back this is how it would look like so that's it's it's getting there right now so this is how chuck's flash actually looks so now what happens is it flies by but it also kind of rotates so to do that you just go all the way back keyframe rotation y go all the way to the end and then change this factor to negative 110 so now if you see 
you can see the cylinder is also spinning which is what we want now what you want to do is you want to add the color so his flash starts out yellow and ends in green so to do that go to effect color correction tint which makes everything black and white now we don't need to do anything in this all you want to do now is go effect color correction hue and saturation so now we have to change it from yellow to green so this is the options for hue, hue and saturation see this colorize box just click that and you get new options here which are available and if, if you see you get red color first which is what we don't want so what you want to do right now is where it says colorize hue on the end you just want to see where it turns yellow so i'm thinking that's looking yellow but it looks very faded so in the saturation you just want to kind of increase that to that that looks pretty good so now what you want to do is keyframe colorize hue and go all the way to the end and then kind of bump up the colorize hue just to make it green that looks pretty good so now if you were to play it back you would see it would start out yellow and end green just like that and now what we want to do is we want to kind of add a blur so it looks like it's actually going really really fast to do that go to effect blur and sharpen radial blur so right now we've added a blur but it doesn't look exactly like how it would look in the show because right now you can't see anything and you, you want to kind of make it look like a zoom like it's actually ha going fast so over here where it says spin you want to change that to zoom so as you can see that's how it looks and you, you can just mess around with the amount a bit I'm gonna keep it to I'm gonna keep it to 16 so as you can see it looks like it's really really flying by now we want to add a glow to our intersect flash so just go to effect generate glow so that adds a little glow and you can just change the glowing glow intensity to like 0.5 so now if you play it back this is how it looks okay so now what we want to do is we just want to add a solid so just do that go to layer new solid and just make sure the color is black hit ok and then it makes everything disappear don't worry just click it and pull it back so now our solid is this little circle here so when we add our images it doesn't look like there's something behind also so that is the solid so this right now is our basic flash this is how it looks like and in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make the images fly by which is what I showed you guys before see like look at you if you look at this Rubik's cube right now you can see it's flying by really fast so that's what I'm going to be teaching you in the next tutorial thank you guys so much for watching this one and yeah be on the lookout for my next one and I'm also making the Benton Omnitrix so don't forget about that and yeah subscribe yay thank you